Hello, this is Peter Modler from Austria speaking again for five Sono minutes. Today, I would like to share a very interesting case for you that was scanned by one of Sonopar's very ta talented uh, clinical sonographers and submitted for a tele-read. It's about a uh, 16-year-old male neutered cat, uh, which was uh, 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 presented because of increased re respiratory effort. The cat had a very long-standing history of increased uh, liver enzymes and was on therapy. But as I said, the acute problem was increased respiratory effort. What you can see here first is position one of the uh, as the echocardiography progression. So what we see here is the so-called right parastinal five-chamber view. So the left atrium is here. This is the left ventricle. This is the aorta here. On the right side here, close to the transducer, there's the right heart. First of all, if you look closely at this video, we can see some mild pericardial effusion here on top, which is very important uh, because it can easily be overseen. here. Uh -huh. So... Um, what also is very in impressive in this case is a dilation of uh, the aortic root with a diameter of almost 18 millimeters. Uh, if you look at the left ventricle, uh, there is not much hypertrophy or change of the, of the free wall seen, seen here. The septum appears maybe a little, little bit hypertrophic. There's a false tendon down here and a basal septal hypertrophy uh, close to the aortic valve. The aortic valve opens and closes, as you can see here. Yeah? There's not much fluttering to, see, to be seen, so obviously not extreme turbulence. What we can see here is some shadowing or some echoes here inside the aortic root. Could be artifacts, but doesn't seem to be artifacts. So in, in my opinion, it's something true that's not entirely displayed in this view. Yeah. So let's look at uh, the next image, a uh, next video clip. This is a short axis view of the left ventricle. It appears that the diameter in diastole of the left ventricle is a little bit increased and maybe there's some hypertrophy of the anterior lateral papillary muscle here. Uh -huh. What we can see on color Doppler is there is obviously two different flows uh, within the aortic root. There's one blue one down here and the red one here. Okay. So if you look at the short axis view uh, of uh, the heart base, we can see that the aortic root is obviously divided into two sections, this one and that one, and there's kind of a septum in between. The left atrium is obviously not very much enlarged. So this is an apical view where you can see maybe some hypertrophy of this papillary muscle that I already mentioned. And this is also some oblique view where you can see, okay, there's the aortic valve and something in between, in, inside the aortic uh, root. It's difficult to, uh, uh, to explain. So basically, what we see here is uh, uh, what the reason is for this division of the aortic uh, root is the so-called dis dissection of the aorta. The section is um, a, a tear of the intima of the, of the aorta with blood entering the tunica media. So there's blood inside the aortic valve, wall and dividing the aortic lumen into a true one. This is this one here and the false one, which is here up above. So the false one obviously is much larger than the true one. If you go down, you can see that the aortic valve is just below this um, true lumen of the aorta. So this is a disease that is potentially fatal and very rare in cats, as I, as I see, as I said, and it's frequently associated with an acute onset of pericardial effusions. 
many cats die immediately after diagnosis. Some don't, but usually it's a very acute process. Sometimes uh, it seems that the dissection propagates downwards into the abdominal aorta. So it's a very huge disease process going on. It has been associated with systemic hypertension in cats, although if you look through the cases that have been published, many cats that present with aortic dissection uh, are not hypertensive. It could, of course, be that they have been uh, hypertensive, but because of the dissection that causes can cause some obstruction to left ventricular outflow, the uh, hypertension disappears. The reason for a dis dissection is mainly unknown. If we think of systemic hypertension, it might, may be that there is increased stress to the aortic valve Aortic, aortic wall. Yeah. Also, um, if you think of this um, basal septal hypertrophy, it could be that there is some tub there was some tubulant flow uh, damaging the aortic wall here in this region. Maybe we don't know. Yeah. Um, also, it has been described that there might be some degenerations of the wall causing the inner layer to, to tear at some point. Uh -huh. So uh, there is actually no therapy for this disease. Um, in human medicine, it's uh, something that has to be fixed surgically. In veterinary medicine, it's basically not possible. But it's important if you see something like this kind of seem, uh, seems like an artifact here to recognize that it isn't an artifact that you have to look at it from a cross section here to find out that this is really a dissection. And um, since all doctors or sonographers are thinking in patterns, it's essential to know what patterns to expect. So the more you see, the more you will be able to recognize. This is why I wanted to share this case for you. So I hope you enjoyed these five sono minutes. I, I hope you learned something. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again.